Hello and welcome to a good old fashioned nickel hunt. I have a box of nickels and it is circulated. I uh, cracked them up. I went ahead and cracked it uh, earlier. I needed to check to see if they were new or not. And they are not. So I'm uh, going to get to hunting these and we're going to see what's inside. And hopefully we find some goodies in the rolls. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. All right, awesome. Now pick them up, I'm not rich. Okay, we're on roll number two and I've got the first find here. Got a 1954 here. Nice, this one is a San Francisco. Very cool. That is awesome. I don't get many San Franciscos here, so that is always a nice sight to see. Roll number eight and we have a rear face mint mark here on a nickel that looks older. This is a Denver. Let's see, 1954, there we go. That's another, it's our second 54, cool. We are on roll 15 and I've got this 2023 I come across. This one is from Philly. Looks like it has some doubling on the reverse. There's a little extra in the window here. I don't know if that's normal or not, um, but according to the website, uh, the, there's some doubling here on the windows and that is matching to WDDR003 out on Wexler's um, and Brian's site there. So cool. We're going to put that up there. It's a pretty cool find. And we're going to keep, keep hunting for some more cool nickels. On roll 23, we've come across another 50s nickel. This one is pretty beat up. Has some pretty gnarly scratches on, on the surface there. It's a 1957. And let's see, does that have a mint mark? It does. It is a Denver. D stands for Denver and also stands for damage, and that is a damaged Denver, but it's still an old nickel. Okay, roll 30. I just opened it up and I've got one here, second from the end, that has a older look to it. Does not have a mint mark, but it does look older. Let's take a look, and it is a 1941. Very cool. Nice. That is a 40 sweet scent. First one of the hunt on roll 30. Roll 32, and I've got an old one here on the end. Well, it looks old. It could just be worn and damaged and dirty there, but it has that older look, so I figured let's hand, open it up and see what it is. Um, I've got a few of these that have that older look to it, so we will see how uh, those go. I might open those up on camera as well just depending on how things go so let's take a look and see what's going on with this one it's going to be the one in the back there let's take a look Ooh, 1939 very cool nice that is a 1939 out of philadelphia nice well, there are some uh, double dies to look for on these and I will check out for them and uh, I will let you know if I see anything really cool going on with it as I do with all the other nickels. Um, I, the nickels I usually do at the end and I look for things um, unless it's something specific that I know for sure to look for. So that's what I do with those. It just makes it easier because I don't know the nickels as well as some of the other coins. Um, we got another rear face emit mark, 1954. Got another find in this roll. Nice. Awesome. That's another 1954. Okay, I'm on roll 45, and it looks like we got a proof here. This is a 1985 San Francisco proof. Um, it is a little rough, but you can still see the um, mirrored fields there, how reflective they are. It does have some circulation on it, but uh, that is a proof. Uh, that we count that as a find, so that is very cool. Um, hang on, is this a, uh, oh, looks like I also got a 51 back here. 1951, this one is another pretty beat up damaged nickel there. That is a 51 out of Philly. Nice, that is another find in this roll. Awesome. Roll 47, got another find here. It is a 1958, this one's a Denver. Nice. I'll toss that up here. 
another find. Roll 48. I've got another one that has that older look to it. It doesn't have a rare mint mark, so it could just be worn, but let's find out if it is an old one. 1949. All right, that is another old nickel. We're on roll 48, and we've got another find here. We've got a 1940. This one is from Philadelphia. All right, last few rolls adding to the pile here. Okay, so time to wrap up here. Um, uh, a lower amount of finds than I usually get in a box but yeah, that's gonna happen sometimes um i only have five nickels over here for the to check against the album plus these old ones so i don't know if i'm gonna have any album upgrades this time but we'll find out um so with the finds we had 139 three from the 40s um six from the 50s we had the 1985 proof and i had two of the ddr 003s um listed on on Wexler uh, Wexler site or Brian site which connects which you can connect to through Wexler because uh, Brian does the nickels for Wexler um, and I had two of those that I came across um, now I don't look at every single one of the the new the new nickels there are tons of different double dies listed on I think there's over uh, there was like 140 something of the 2023s out there were uh, double die reverses, different double die reverses listed. Um, but I, I do try to check at least the nicest ones and, and double check and make sure I, I'm looking at that. Uh, 2018s, 2020s, and then 2022, 3, and 4 all have some double dies on them as far as I'm aware. And there's a few on some of the other dates, but I think those are the uh, largest amount on those and so I try to always hit those as, as best I can on the nicer ones at least um, but I don't have time to look at every single nickel I just don't have that much time in a day <laughs> so I can't I can't look at every single nickel in a box under the scope but uh, I, I do try um, all right let me check these nickels I have over here against the albums and I'll be right back and let you know how that went Okay, so as I expected, there were no uh, fills or upgrades for the nickel albums here. Um, there were a couple that were kind of borderline, but again, I'm, I am having a few of these nickels that are starting to, the holes are starting to loosen up. So the upgrades, I'm trying to have the upgrades be decent. If there's a damaged one, I'm going to try to find a decent one. If it's a decent one, I'm going to try to find, you know, like an... Uh, about uncirculated mint state one to replace with. Um, so I'm gonna try to make the uh, upgrade gaps bigger on most of these. Uh, although there are some that I might make smaller steps as we go, but that's my plans on these. And then at some point I'm, we'll have to get different books because these uh, these little albums, uh, no matter which brand you buy, they aren't really made for constant uh, upgrading and stuff. So that is always something you have to look out for for these. Um, yeah, so uh, that is all for this hunt. Uh, overall, it was a fun hunt. I uh, had some good finds. Nothing uh, uh, that was missing uh, missing getting those buffaloes and stuff. So I would like to see some buffaloes again sometime soon. It's, I think it's been a few hunts. And uh, I do hit the no buffaloes uh, for uh, three, four, five hunts sometimes. And it's been a few hunts and I would love to see a buffalo soon so that would be nice to see next time uh, I do have I'm picking up some boxes uh, next week or I guess this week when I do put this video out so uh, I will have some boxes but this week's videos might be a little uh, thin uh, I've just got a lot going on so uh, I might not have the time to film and edit the videos as I would like all right so that is what I got for this hunt. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, help me out, and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, 
feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.